Joseph Louis Gay Lussac was a French chemist and physicist. He is known mostly for his discovery that water is made of two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen, for two laws related to gases, and for his work on alcohol water mixtures, which led to the degrees Gay Lussac used to measure alcoholic beverages in many countries. Biography Gay Lussac was born at Saint Leonard de Noblat in the present day department of Haute Vienne. The father of Joseph Louis Gay, Anthony Gay, son of a doctor, was a lawyer and prosecutor and worked as a judge in Noblat Bridge. Father of two sons and three daughters, he owned much of the Lussac village and usually added the name of this hamlet of the Haute-Vienne to his name, following a custom of the Ancien Regime. Towards the year 1803, father and son finally adopted the name Gay Lussac. During the revolution, on behalf of the law of suspects, his father, former king's attorney, was imprisoned in St. Leonard from 1793 to 1794. He received his early education at the hands of the Catholic Abbey of Bourdieux, though later in life became an atheist. In the care of the Abbot of de Montiel he began his education in Paris, finally entering the École Polytechnique in 1798. Gay Lussac narrowly avoided conscription and by the time of entry to the École Polytechnique his father had been arrested, due to Robespierre's reign of terror. Three years later, Gay Lussac transferred to the École des Ponts et Chaussées, and shortly afterwards was assigned to C. Albert Hollet as his assistant. In 1802, he was appointed demonstrator to A. F. Fourcroy at the École Polytechnique, wherein, 1809, he became professor of chemistry. From 1808 to 1832, he was professor of physics at the Sorbonne, a post which he only resigned for the chair of chemistry at the Jardin des Plants. In 1821, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In 1831 he was elected to represent Haute-Vienne in the Chamber of Deputies, and in 1839 he entered the Chamber of Peers. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1832. Gay Lussac married Genevieve Marie Joseph Rojot in 1809. He had first met her when she worked as a linen draper's shop assistant and was studying a chemistry textbook under the counter. He fathered five children, of whom the eldest, Jules, became assistant to Justice Liebig and Giesen. Some publications by Jules are mistaken as his father's today since they share the same first initial, J. Gay Lussac. Gay Lussac died in Paris, and his grave is there at Père Lachaise Cemetery. His name is one of the 72 names inscribed on the Eiffel Tower. Achievements 1802 Gay Lussac first formulated the law, Gay Lussac's law stating that if the mass and volume of a gas are held constant then gas pressure increases linearly as the temperature rises. His work was preceded by that of Guillaume Amantunz, who established the rough relation without the use of accurate thermometers. The law is sometimes written as P equals KT, where K is a constant dependent on the mass and volume of the gas and T is temperature on an absolute scale, in terms of the ideal gas law, K equals NRV. 1804 He and Jean-Baptiste Biot made a hot air balloon ascent to a height of 7,016 meters, 23,018 feet, in an early investigation of the Earth's atmosphere. He wanted to collect samples of the air at different heights to record differences in temperature and moisture. 1805 Together with his friend and scientific collaborator Alexander von Humboldt, he discovered that the composition of the atmosphere does not change with decreasing pressure, increasing altitude. They also discovered that water is formed by two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen, by volume. 1808 He was the CO discoverer of boron. 1810 In collaboration with Louis Thienard, he developed a method for quantitative elemental analysis by measuring the CO2 and O2 evolved by reaction with potassium chlorate. 1811 He recognized iodine as a new element, described its properties, and suggested the name iode. 1824 He developed an improved version of the burette that included a sidearm, 
and coined the terms pipette and burette in an 1824 paper about the standardization of indigo solutions 9. In Paris, a street and a hotel near the Sorbonne are named after him as are a square and a street in his birthplace, Saint-Leonard de Noblat.